We're in Istanbul, Turkey, site of the third and final AGEEP Academy. AGEEP stands for Afghanistan Journalism Education Enhancement Program. The U.S. State Department has sponsored five partnerships between Afghan universities and American universities. San Jose State University has two of those grants with Balk and Herat University. Well, I really want to congratulate San Jose State um, on their participation in this three-year project, three-year-plus project, um, and also thank you for taking such a leadership role. Um, we're here in Istanbul thanks to your organizational uh, initiative and capabilities. Um, San Jose has really done a masterful job and I think has been one of the prime contributors. The series of modules that you've created is a real model for everyone and the fact that you've translated them and made them available on the web for all the other programs is also a, a really great uh, contribution. The visits to San Jose uh, were also extremely well run and again I, I, I applaud you for your ingenuity and linking up the Afghan participants with the Rotary Club and your Rotary Ambassadors and getting them out in the community and really learning a lot about American life and culture. <laughs> Before this partnership, we, uh, we didn't know any about the teaching method, about the design a curriculum for journalism students and journalist class. And after this program, we are now, we can speak English as well and we can design curriculum, online journalist curriculum, or other curriculum and syllabus for uh, our courses uh, for our students in Afghanistan. It shows the power of mobile journalism and it's possible in a one-hour class. I think that we're at a stage where we really are seeing um, the Afghan professors change. Um, I think that it's been a long process and there were times where I wondered whether um, they were going to be able to use this information, process it, and really start to develop their own style and kind of thinking. And uh, I feel like I see that. I see them very excited and motivated, which um, is, is, is nice to see. Them being very proactive in developing code of ethics or just systems or training material. And that's, that's exciting. I learned a lot of new things about the new journalism and also the new techniques of uh, new journalism in all the media how we can um, make a report for the media, for the website, for, new, for uh, news agencies and also about the PR and every, a lot of new things and also beside that we learn lots of new skills that how we can, um, for example, how we can shoot it, uh, how many, uh, for example, for uh, photographer, for video shooting and also about the audio and everything. Okay, so that's my source plus my experience um, in, in public relations. Uh -huh. To see the growth of these professors and their programs, that we're really making a difference. I mean, we're really, we're really uh, training the next journalists and public relations professionals of the future. The government officials believe that journalists are only their enemies because sometimes journalists were uh, seeking information about their corruption, I think uh, public relations is a, a new phenomenon in Afghanistan. So we have just learned the uh, values and importance of public relations for a democratic country like Afghanistan from our journalism professors from the United States. And our intention is to bring back those kind of expertise into the community, into the government of Afghanistan, to train and to educate public relations uh, practitioners into the community because we need public relations organizations, we need public relations professionals. I think it'll be really interesting to share these, this information, show photos um, of things that we did, share stories. Um, I, thi I think it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's been a great experience and I think the students at San Jose State will benefit from it. Part of the idea of these uh, three-year uh, projects is to jumpstart a relationship between the Afghan and the American University that we hope will endure. 
And I think the personal relationships with the, between the professors and the fact that it's easy to email and put things up on websites and to blog together um, will, will ensure the relationship endures. Also, I began to hear recently the word research. And uh, this is a whole new domain for, for the Afghan professors. But as they become more professional, I think they may be more interested in linking up and asking and consulting. And if uh, San Jose can continue to play a sort of mentor role or reply to the emails and, and ideas and bounce ideas off, that will also keep the, uh, the relationship alive. One, two, three, hands up! <laughs> <laughs> and there is a joke in Afghanistan, say that uh, if someone attacked in Kandahar,